everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are visiting a friend who is raising some chickens. So we're going to see what chickens look like. Chicken. Let's go see. Okay, let's yes. go. <laughs> people know what chickens look like. They just don't know how people eat chickens. But they don't know how you eat chickens. It's a high place. You can see. Uh-huh. So, if you see, so there's charcoal in there. What's keeping it hot? Um, yeah, charcoal, charcoal. Charcoal, okay. Yeah, that's why oh, this they're, place... Oh, they're asleep, they're not there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why this place is hot. Yeah. Yeah, it, it yeah, should yeah. be like that because they need a lot of warmth. Oh, okay. Or they'll die. So, how many chicks do you have in here now? 101. 101? Yes. Okay. So, these are about how old from hatching? Oh, uh, uh, wait, so you just buy them while they're already hatched. Okay. Wait, you just buy them while they are right now. And I've had them for one week. One week? Yes. Well, wow. I bought them, wait, I bought them on Saturday. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's one week basically. It's one week. Okay. So, these are like your little chicken babies. Yes, mine. You mine? <laughs> Wow. Okay, so they'll stay in this like kind of cage area for how long? Until they're how old do you think? Like um, two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we we'll move them out. We'll expand them. Uh, this 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 is this is um, It can move. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you expand the perimeter so that they have more space to Yes, move because they get bigger and uh, uh, yeah, it does that basically. Yeah. Two weeks. So next week, by next week. So uh -huh. Take a bigger space. Yes, and as you can see, they are eating. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. What are they eating? Like seeds and stuff? Uh, it's just bread. Uh, this is called starter mash. This is what you give them when they are young. Starter mash. Yes. So you can't eat this as a human, I'm guessing. No. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe. But, but no, it's. I mean, you can you, eat dog food. You can eat cat food. You can eat dog food, so. Anyway, let's not eat it. Let's you, not eat you, it. You, you eat. I wouldn't, but I know people that do. Yeah. It's not. It's, is, it good? is it healthy? If right? you get the like expensive organic, yeah, people have very okay, good so, dog food. <laughs> so not just any dog food. No. Oh. Like organic. So anyway, what do you think this is? Well, it's it's it's, it's called starter mash, uh -huh. and it's for it's for when they're young, yeah. and then when they grow old enough, you give them the finisher mash. So you don't know what it is. It's just you buy it. No, uh, well, it's well, it's food. I mean, what, okay. what, what should I say? Because <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is it like what, what like mean? wheat? Is oh, you mean like like uh, well, yeah, that, that I don't know. But I yeah. know it's, it's definitely. <laughs> we, we have a cart and we just, I just give you the food. I don't know what it is. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. You don't have that, to have the answers. Does that take points off me being a farmer? No, <laughs> no. And you're just learning, right? This is your first yeah. time. Yes, it's my first time. Mm -hmm. uh, in in six months, I, I want to uh, to make sure this all this upper part is full. Mm -hmm. yes. That'd be like a thousand chicks at least. Wow. So wow. these are hundred chicks. Yes. Hundred and one. Oh, hundred and one. <laughs> Don't forget that wow. extra one. Wow. You see, when you buy like hundred chicks, sometimes you get extra. Oh. So yeah, they came as hundred and three to mm -hmm. die. You've had two. Yes. R.I.P. They're so cute though, the little things. Yeah, you can be happy. I can pick one up. Oh my god, I forgot you should you should have picked your I I forgot to. Where we have to go? Oh. Dip our feet. Our hands. No, no, the feet are just all to touch. Yeah. They do want to pause. Yeah, disinfect. <laughs> I'm disinfecting the bottom of my shoes. So the chicks don't get sick. Some kind of solvent. I don't know what's going on over here. Very careful not to make my shoes go swimming. And uh, what's the purpose of this? So that the chicks don't get sick. You don't carry foot disease. I'm just kidding. I don't know what kind of disease. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Look at that chick. It's very soft. He hasn't lost his down yet, which is good. Cause so you don't know how old is this? <laughs> Hello, little Well, chicken. it's seven days here old. Yeah. Seven days here old. <laughs> and when you bought them? Oh, they were a day old when I bought them. Uh, the its wow. little heart is beating so fast. Because maybe she's afraid of you. This brings back a lot of memories, actually, because um, one 
Easter time in my family, my dad got all these chicks to like raise until they were teenage chicks. And they stayed in our living room for a while. Okay, so what are these things here? Oh yeah, these are called feeding trunks. Oh, so when they graduate from these, yeah. they'll use these. Oh, you're smarter than I thought. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm very sorry. Um, yes. Um, this, this, this is a water truck. This is for food and uh -huh. this for water. Okay. So they, they drink quite a bit of water? Huh? Do they drink quite a bit of water? Yes, they, they, they drink more as they grow older. Uh -huh. So you have to put more as they grow older. Mm -hmm. Because they, they eat faster, they drink more, they eat more. And obviously the reason I don't have these there is because it's too high for them. Yeah. Uh, they're still babies, so when they become teenagers, they'll yes. get into that kind of yes. thing. That's the starter mush or starter cup. Oh, maybe it'll tell us what it is. High quality filtery feed. 50k. No, it doesn't say. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. say what it is. Not yes, I do. In the US we use pounds, but I know what it is. This is wood shavings. So they're and so it can keep them warm too. Do you have to like scrape out and refresh the wood shavings every now and then? Um, no, no, no. They just like yes. do their business in there and just let it be. Yeah. Oh, they're all huddled together. It's super cute. So it's because they feel really cold. Yeah. But so they're huddling. Because this is the cold months in Kenya right now. This is the winter. So they're going to feel a little colder. Yes. Yeah. So, babe, you had a question? Yeah, I want to ask a question. Uh -huh. So, how long will it take for those small chicks to mature? To be edible, I guess. Yeah, yeah. For two hours. She's thinking about four. I'm just saying what he's thinking. Okay, answer the question. Yeah. Four, four to five weeks. Four to five weeks? What? Weeks? Yes. Or it only did you think? You know, these are, these are brain, I'm not kidding. So, they grow faster? Wow. Yes. So within three weeks, yes, you've, you've been marketed. You look excited oh. to eat. He's literally drooling, guys. You can't see. Yeah, I'm coming for. I'm coming for one. So <laughs> second So I book one. You're yeah, probably second you know, still. Wow. You'll be eating. You are so excited. Crazy. Wow, 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 wow. So broiler versus king yanji. King yanji are like the natural. Yeah, they take longer. They take like, like three, four months. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's not that's not good for my business. Yeah, but you can like, but King and G sell for more, and broilers are cheaper to, to buy. Yeah. Like if you are a customer. Did this move faster. Uh -huh. It's the ones you usually eat uh, in the hotels. Yeah. Yeah, because so they move faster. Yeah. yeah. In hotel, many people they prefer on in, in broilers because you eat even the bones. Yeah. I think broiler is better because King NG to me is so tough. Yeah, then it's not soft. They're athlete chickens. Yeah, King I like is the not soft, tough. fatty chickens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so um, this is for uh, picking up the food. You know, I take, I put the food here, mm -hmm. and then I, I weigh, I weigh, I weigh this or that. Very you know, scientific. Because, you know, because uh, each each day they mm -hmm. require a different uh, a different amount of of weight of food. You know, mm -hmm. like, they may be 3 kg smaller, 3.3 because they are growing and they eat more. You know? So it was made uh, it's not the same, but each day different. Yeah, and so you don't want to overfeed them, right? Do they get sick? Uh, oh, well, no. <laughs> even if you put more food, they'll still eat to the point where they feel satisfied. Okay. So, yeah. They're not like cats. Cats will eat until let's eat anything that they see. Until they die. Yes, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I have a cast. Oh, okay. So I have one, I have another question. Why do you have to have these black papers well, that's, around? Just to increase the warmth. Uh -huh. You know, black uh, absorbs heat and retains heat better than white. Uh, yes, science, good. <laughs> yes. So. So you're really taking care of your chicks. I can see. So yes, uh, and the first two weeks is the hardest because you have to wake up. Oh. Wow. To, to, to make sure maybe the, the, it's still hot enough, the, the brooder. Oh. To, like, well, it's not hard, like I'm dying, but, but still. I, I need to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I have to wake up 7 a.m. to, you know, check the food, the, the, the water the, you know, in, the, on, in the drink cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also you need a good resource. What? You need a good resource for your effort. 
Yes, yes. So you're putting all the yes. effort in to get all these things. Yeah. Yes, and then two die. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, I'm but, but sorry, I'm it's, sorry. It's, it's no one. Um, there the, the always has to be chicks that die. Yeah. So you, you can't expect to buy like a hundred and then all hundred, you know, make it till, till you sell them. No. Mm-hmm. But there has to be some that die, even if it's at least two or three. And then the, I could even have like 90 at the end, but yeah. So how much would one go for? It depends on your capital. Like how, many, how much money you have. So it's 80 per cheek. Mm-hmm. 8 shillings. Usually, usually it's 80, 80 oh. per cheek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm asking when you sell it to oh, someone, after the mature. Yeah. Yes. Well, because of the hard times right now and just how much they're eating and and the allowance that died. I will sell it right now at 400 to 450. 400 to 450 for a chick. Wow. For a, not a chick, a chicken when you're mature. Yes, yes, chicken. That's a good profit. Uh, yeah, you know. Because it's minus the 80 that you, you bought, but then also minus the food and yeah, your effort. I, I, you have to pay for your effort. Actually, before yeah. this business starts to like sustain itself, mm-hmm. I have to wait like six rounds. Mm. Because you know when you bought all these things, um, if you count how many one chick is right now, how many, how many, how much one chick is worth? You know the food, the, mm-hmm. the whatever the medicine. Um, it's like three seventy something. So when I sell it at four hundred, it's not really I that see. much. Uh-huh. But by the time they are around six, one chick will, will be will be worth. Um, will be eating. It will cost uh, to to ninety five there, so when you sell it like uh, four hundred, that's that's much better. I see. Yeah. Get buy all the supplies and get it going. That makes sense. So how are you going to sell your chicks? Are you going to just like do individual people that you know, or are you going to try to go to restaurants, hotels? Uh, yeah. Any anyhow, uh, not anyhow, but like anyone, anyone. Mm-hmm. I, I could sell to individual people. I could sell to hotels. I could. And some people come who could, could take like 10 chicks at one time mm-hmm. yeah, because maybe they're having a party. That would be quite boring. <laughs> but you should, you know, hotels usually take uh, huge numbers, mm-hmm. like, like maybe 20. So, yeah. Cool. Thanks so much. Oh, that one just stretched his leg. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> No, it does not. It's, Okay, how much would it cost to start a business like this? Like the capital that you need to start. With? Well, for now I have a hundred chicks, uh-huh. but if you are talking like uh, this whole place filled with chicks, will be to just the, the structure alone will be like three hundred thousand Kenyan shillings. Uh, so that's three thousand US dollars. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. Um, the 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 equipment uh-huh. and the chicks like like if you one one chick I buy, I buy one chick at eighty shillings. So like if it's a thousand chicks, it's eighty thousand. If it's two, well, this this whole place will take two thousand chicks. Uh-huh. So eighty times two thousand will be one hundred and sixty thousand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So okay. So the structure three hundred thousand. Uh, the chicks one hundred and sixty. This equipment like fifty. No, no. Wait. This one. equipment like say let's just say a hundred. Okay. <laughs> It is a lot of money, so hopefully this works out, but we wish you all the best. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So Th- thank you thank you both for having me. Um, this, this is my shine now. <laughs> <laughs> this is my time to finally yeah. not be broke and move out of my parents' home. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you forgot to say what your name is. We oh, yeah. Give you a real name. Okay. <laughs> not the fake name that I know you want to give. Uh, my name is Brian Kibe Kahan. Wow, you really gave us all of the names. Thank you so much. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm so, a poultry farmer. Yeah. Yes, you so, are. <laughs> may I have a question? Uh, yes. So, what can you tell the youths who are outside there and they are saying there are no jobs here? Oh, man. What yeah, can you no. tell them? <laughs> uh, speak to the youth, right? Yeah, now, now speak to the youths. Yeah, I wasn't ready for this, but. Uh, <laughs> Wait, cut, cut it off fast. Let me <laughs> no. Oh, oh yeah, to the youth of Kenya, what you need mainly is hand skills. I think a lot of people depend on like formal education, mm-hmm. but there, there really isn't 
lots of jobs in, in our country, not to be discouraging, but that's fact. Mm -hmm. And where, when you can start a business because of, you know, hand skills or whatever, I know you need capital, but as long as you have the skills, you can even be, you know, employed by someone and then when you get enough money, you can start your own. Mm -hmm. So, yes, hand skills, you know, people, too many people are, are relying on, on, you know, academics, which is not bad for some people, it works for them, but I think, I think rich people, like truly rich people, are business people. Cut them. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you have to say? I just want to say uh, thank you for letting us come. This has been very enlightening, and I hope people back home, where they don't normally see the, the animals before they eat the animals, maybe today they'll look, oh, that's what my chicks look like when they're growing up. Um, anyway, but thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, comment below. Um, yeah, let us know what you think of our video, and we'd love to hear from you. Yes. Thanks so much. Yeah.